Let's conclude by taking a look at number 12. It says four friends are playing a game. Jordan has a 45% chance of winning. Diane is twice as likely to win than Carlos, while Stacy has a 25% chance. Create a table of probabilities for the sample space. So there's a couple things that are given to us very clear. It says that Jordan has a 45% chance of winning. So the outcome of winning for Jordan happens 45% of the time. So the outcome for Jordan, probability 45%. Now the other one that was said to us very clearly is Stacy's result. Stacy has a 25% chance of winning. So we'll say Stacy has a 25% chance of making this happen. Now the two names that remain are Diane and Carlos. Now they don't give us numbers for those, so they actually want us to figure those out here. Now they do tell us though that Diane has two times the chances that Carlos has. So what we need to do is figure out the remaining probabilities and then figure out what percentages could make that work. So between Jordan and Stacy, they represent 70%. So that means for Diane and Carlos, that means they have 30% of the probability between them. So Diane has two times the chance of winning that Carlos has. So if we put a number in, for instance, for Carlos like 5, that means the number for Diane would be 10. Well, 5 and 10 makes 15, not 30, so that wouldn't be a good guess. All right, well, let's think about this logically then. 2 times the chances that this one has, so 2x here, and let's call this one x. 2x and x have to go together to make 30%. Well, we know how to solve that equation because we're going to say 3x is 30. When we divide by 3, we say x is 10. Well, Carlos has x chances at 10. Diane has 2x chances, or 2 times 10, which is 20. And if we do that addition then, to make sure it works, 20 and 10 make 30%. Total list is 100%. There's all your probabilities.